This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rap? Because only one will escape, and the rest... <laughs> You're trapped! No, no, no! Oh, oh. I were having sweet dreams, <laughs> all horrid and cruel and lots of unfortunates getting caught. <laughs> I can't believe you little bucker me up. This must mean something is about to happen. No, don't tell me. Uh, are you here to do a survey about werewolves? Uh, are you here to dirty up the windows? Uh, oh no! It's time for the next bobbing craft and nothing's ready! Oh, I would have been asleep for a week away! <laughs> now hang on, where are they from? Oh, here it is. Ipswich. A land of dragons, bogs, and now six less wretches. Here they are, the unfortunates. <laughs> so up they come, another batch of unfortunates. If any of them aren't afraid of heights, then at least they will be afraid of what's in the tower. Look at that batch of cagelings. They get worse every time. <laughs> ben, who wants to go into space so he can spit on the moon. Dion, she reads everything upside down. There's Derrin, who collects plug holes. Claudia, who invented sneezing. Adam, he's related to the abominable snowman. And finally, Jodie. Her middle name is... <laughs> They better start misbehaving, or they'll get trapped. That's what happened to me. I only came here for a night's kip hundreds of years ago, but I've been trapped ever since. The voice caught me. She's a cruel mistress. I've never seen her, but you can always hear her. Talking in your nice home. She's promised to let me go, only if I help her trap as many unfortunates as possible in the tower. This is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates start here at the top and works their way downwards. If they make it out the bottom, they're home in time for tea and some cockroach crumble. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. <laughs> Treachery! The saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> floor six, goblet of ice. Someone's getting frozen out. It's always a chilly reception for the unfortunates. For one of them, they'll be frozen here and their chance of freedom turned to slush. <laughs> to show you how it's done, here's Wily Sneak, an unfortunate trapped a hundred years ago. In this challenge, unfortunates must carry snow across the icy stepping stones and fill the goblet of ice. But it's not that easy. The stones are deadly slippery and there's a monstrous gale blowing. It's windier than a plate full of baked beans. What's more, if so much as a toe slips off them stepping stones, the goblet will tip up and empty out all the snow they've collected. So they'll have to start all over again. <laughs> Remember, not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, 
there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me, it's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Dion, do not react. You are the saboteur. And you are the only person who can hear my voice. You must make sure the goblet of ice is not full by the end of the challenge. There are many ways you can do this, including stalling time, spilling snow, and remember, treading on the ground triggers the tipping goblet. I will continue to guide you through your whisper clip. Can Dion make the others lose so she can win? Unfortunates. This is Goblet of Ice. To pass, you must fill the goblet. You have 90 seconds to do it. Let the challenge begin now. As you can see, Dion, it's not an easy task. That wind is strong. <laughs> but remember, if you were to touch the floor, the goblet will tip. They're working too well as a team. You must do something. Sixty seconds. When the time is right, you must strike. Dion, remember, every time someone touches the floor, the goblet will empty. Excellent. Jody has fallen from the ice steps. Now she looks like the saboteur. Brilliant, Dion. You made that look like a mistake. No one's touching the floor. Darren is really confused. Dion, they don't know who is doing it. 30 seconds. Be careful, Dion. You don't want to be too obvious. Remember, you have to make the team fail and you must remain undetected. What's going on? No one's touching the floor, really. Dion, they're doing too well. Ten, nine, eight, Time is running seven, out. Six. Five, <laughs> Excellent, four, Dion. Three, You've done it now. Two, well done. One. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Looks like the challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Ben, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Darren because he said that we weren't touching the floor when the goblet tipped. Dion. I think the saboteur was Jodie because she kept putting her foot on the floor and it didn't seem like she was doing it by accident. Darren. I think it was Jodie because um, when she passed me the snow, she kept um, having her um, bowl really high up, so I kept blowing everywhere in the wind. Cloda. I think it was Dion because Dion touched the floor twice. Adam. I think that was Dion because that kept tipping out of his bowl. Jodie. I think that was Dion because she kept on stepping on the floor. You voted for Dion, Darren, and Jody. Ah, it's a draw. What to do? Get out the draw straws. Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Darren, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. Oh, that was so tense, my eyes have swapped round. Look! The saboteur was, in fact, Dion. Darren, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Darren, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I'm little, so when I poured the snow into the goblet, I kept spilling most of the snow. I really feel upset because um, that wasn't really me, that was Dion. And, um, but if I look on the bright side, that's really cool being here and very, very cold. Poor, unfortunate Darren. You're trapped! Yeah, 
every floor we trap one more. Now Darren's got the shortest straw. Floor five. Deadly medley. This next floor is Boris's lair. He likes a nap more than I like trapping unfortunates. Meet Boris the organist. He's been trapped here for years. In this challenge, the unfortunates have got to make words using the musical notes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Once they have thought of a word, they must place the letters on his music stand for Boris to play. Boris will like some words and not like others. To pass the challenge, unfortunates must spell three words Boris likes. If they spell three words he does not like, they will fail. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted. But who is it? Cloder. Do not react. You are the saboteur. What the team do not know is that Boris does not like any words with the letter D in them. So you should try to use this letter as much as you can. Claude is the next saboteur. The voice in her whisper clip will help her with stinky tips so she can sabotage the challenge. Unfortunates, this challenge is deadly medley. To pass, you must think of three words that Boris likes. Let the challenge begin now. Cloda, remember, words with a D in them are the bad words that won't count. Excellent. Dion and Jody have suggested dad. Boris will hate that word. Excellent, Cloda. Great start. Bad. Now Dion has suggested bad. You're lucky they're picking bad words, Clodagh, but still one to go. Dog? I don't think there's an O. No, there isn't. Bed. B-E-D. This is brilliant. All you have to hope for now is that they don't suspect you. <laughs> That's it! You've done it! Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like the saboteurs do it, but were they spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Dion. I think the saboteur was Clodagh because she didn't try to join in and didn't have no suggestions. Clodagh. I thought it was Adam because he didn't really join in that much. Adam, who do you think the saboteur was? I think that was Dion because she weren't bringing up much words. Jodie. I think that was Dion because she didn't come up with that much words. Ben. I think it was Jodie because she always kept on saying words that I thought must have been bad words. You have voted for Dion. The saboteur was, in fact... Cloda. Brillyweed! Dion, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Dion, how do you feel about being trapped? Um, I don't really care, really. I just had fun anyway. Poor, unfortunate Dion. You're trapped! Ha <laughs> ha! Dion's trapped! Which means another step to freedom for me. Floor four, exploding toad in the hole. Ah, floor four is one of my favourite lunch spots. I was eating my lunch there earlier. Some nice lizard sandwiches. Ah, here we are. The stinking bog. Best spot in the whole tower for a picnic and a breath of foul air. I dropped a bit of my lunch down the boggles earlier. So, in this challenge, the unfortunates have got to find it. Plunging their hands into the snarty boggles, the unfortunates will either find a bit of me lunch or an exploding tone. 
If they find three toads, they fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Adam, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team find the exploding toads. The toads are in all the holes marked with a sign that has purple somewhere on it. Make the team find three toads to fail the challenge. Would you believe it? Adam is our third saboteur. He is not to be trusted. I know that, and you know that, but the rest of them don't. Unfortunates. In this challenge, you must avoid the exploding toads and find three bits of lunch. Let the challenge begin now. Go for that one there. Go for the cafe. Go for that one. Adam, this game is all about the power of persuasion. For the fog. Ben, go for the back one. Go for fog. This one. Go for the back one right near the fog. Yeah. Right over there. He's going for a toad. <laughs> Excellent. Where are you going to lead Clodagh? Which one shall I go for? Go to that one. That one. No, 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 not that one. Yeah, do that one. No, Clodagh, go over there. She's going for the wrong one, Adam. You might have lost this one. Are you sure? Yeah, just go. Don't look too disappointed. Do that one there. Now you must persuade Jodie. No, because that one might... Yeah, do that one. Caution! 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 No, caution! It's another toad, Adam. Uh, Good work, Adam. It's two one to you, Adam. Make Ben pick a toad, and you sabotage the task. Do that one there, Ben. No, don't. Not really. That's go to that one. Ben, go to that one. Yeah, that one. That yeah, one that do that one. one. Just do it. One. He's Just not listening to any of you. Just put your hand in and take something. Do it! Do it! You'll have to do something about it. I was all do it! Brilliant idea, Adam. Now go for a purple one. That's it. You've done it. I saw the <laughs> You have failed miserably. Ooh, you've got to be sneaky to sabotage successful like. Did the saboteur have what it takes? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Adam, who do you think the saboteur was? I think that was Ben, because he um, wouldn't do him. Jody. I think that was Ben, because he wouldn't put his hand in none of them. Ben. I think it was Adam, because most of the ones that he shouted out got wrong. Cloda. I think it was Adam, because he was the one that was telling Ben which one to go to. You voted for Ben and Adam. Oh, it's a draw again. Can you believe it? Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Ben, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. So close, and yet so trapped! <laughs> the saboteur was, in fact... Adam. Oh, he was lucky this time. Then you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Ben, how do you feel about being trapped? Well, at least I, I think I'll probably be able to live for two days as I've got a pear and some ginger to live on. Poor, unfortunate Ben. You're trapped! Ah, Ben drew the short straw. Another floor, another trapped unfortunate. Floor three, wicked wardrobes. You won't want to be going inside your wardrobe after this challenge. I haven't been inside my wardrobe for years. I put these clothes on in 1604. Might be due a wash soon. Pew. To pass, they must have all eight lights turned on at the end of 90 seconds. Once the lights are on, they must hide in their wardrobes. And wait. 
Sounds easy, doesn't it? Except one of them will be working against the others. When a light is turned off, it will trigger the music, a signal to the others that the saboteur has struck. Can they catch the saboteur in the act? And will they have all the lights on at the end of 90 seconds? You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Jody, do not react. You are the saboteur. When the music stops, get into a wardrobe, but do not stay there. Use the silence to turn off one or more lights. Once you have turned a light off, you will have three seconds until the gramophone starts playing, so you will have to be quick. If she remains undetected, Jody will be safe. And just a flaw from freedom! But can she do it? Unfortunates, this challenge is wicked wardrobes. To pass, you must have all of the lights switched on at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now. That's it, Jody. Help your team to start with. Your time to sabotage will be when they're in their wardrobes. The coast is clear. You've got three seconds. And out we go again, same as before. Look helpful. Okay, now you know how it works. See if you can switch off more lights. 60 seconds. Quick, Jody. They're out already. That's great, but think about where you're turning them off. Don't give yourself away. Okay, Jody, you've got another chance. Now you've made it look like Cloder. Excellent. 30 seconds. Get as many as you can and as far away as you can. Excellent. You need to look helpful. Switch it on, switch it on. 10 seconds. This is your last chance. Quickly! Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Looks like the saboteur has made the team fail. But they're not safe yet. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Jody, who do you think the saboteur was? I think that was Cloda because she had a light switch right next to her. Cloda. I think it was Jody because most of the lights were turned off by her and she had to run across the room to turn off the lights near mine. Adam. I thought that was Jodie because there was loads of lights near and she didn't um, turn them on. You have voted for Jodie. The saboteur was, in fact. Jodie. The saboteur's been trapped! Jodie, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Jody, how do you feel about being trapped? I don't really mind. Poor unfortunate Jody. You're trapped! Jody, you was good, but not good enough to be undetected. Four trapped! Only one floor to go. Floor two. One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! Let's hope the unfortunate has been paying attention. Now they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. Ooh, I'm so excited. A little bit of we came out.
Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 90 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now. Cloda, who was the saboteur in Exploding Toad in the Hole? Adam. Correct. Adam, what was the name of the hooded figure in Deadly Medley? Too slow. Boris is the right answer. Cloda, which three unfortunates had to draw straws at the end of Goblet of Ice? Dion, Jody, and Ben. Incorrect. Dion, Darren, and Jody. Adam, what was the name of the challenge which involved turning on lights? Too slow. Wicked wardrobes. Cloda, exploding toad in the hole trapped which unfortunate? Jody. Incorrect. Ben. Adam, how many bad words were played in Deadly Medley? Three. Correct. Cloda, who received the most votes as saboteur in Deadly Medley? Deal. Correct. Adam, on floor six, who was the first unfortunate to empty a cup of snow into the goblet of ice? Quick. Me. Incorrect. Darren. Cloda and Adam, your time is up. Cloda answered two questions correctly. Adam answered one question correctly. Cloda, you are the winner. Congratulations. Adam, how do you feel about being trapped? Um, okay, because I weren't expecting to get this far. Poor, unfortunate Adam. You're trapped! Cloda, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. I made it! I made it! Ah! <laughs> Claude is going home. <laughs> the others are trapped all alone. Now, back to my sleep. <laughs> Didn't your mum ever tell you? Cheese before bedtime and a scary book <laughs> gives you nightmares. <laughs> now, go on. Get out of it, you lot, because uh, you wouldn't want to get trapped. <laughs> Thank you.